Brock University invited the media and other dignitaries to tour the future home of the Marilyn Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts. I just gave you a tour of what I call the perfect metaphor for Niagara's industrial past and her post-industrial future. You're looking at a 95,000 square foot facility for 500 Brock University students in the fine and performing arts. This is a collaboration between the City of St. Catharines and Brock University, which means that our students will have all this purpose-built space in the former Canada Haircloth Building, and they will also have access to the City of St. Catharines' new Performing Arts Centre, specifically the Cairns Recital Hall and the Film Theatre, as part of their educational programming here at Brock. And when is this set to open? The first day of classes is September 8th, 2015. So we are now just a matter of months away from the move downtown. We'll be starting the move uh, around May of next year and we'll be up and running, open for classes in September. And what does this mean for students at Brock and for the city on a, as a whole? Well, we're providing Brock students with world-class facilities in dramatic arts, music, visual arts, and our Center for Studies in Arts and Culture. We're, we're creating incredible instructional space, rehearsal and performance space, and we're doing it in such a way as to retain the historical character of this building, a mid-19th century factory. We're retaining its heritage and its character, but we're adding the latest in instructional design and educational technology. So it really is the best of, of both worlds to, to keep the old and the new. And on this tour right now, I, I, I showed you some of those interesting features. And what are some of the key features? Well, um, on the fourth floor in the middle part of the building, um, I, I showed you how we literally raised the roof uh, so as to be able to take out the support columns and open up the space for students in visual arts so that they can be in their painting and drawing studios and moving big canvases around and not being hampered by eight-foot centers with, with steel, steel uh, uh, supporting columns. So we, we literally raised the roof and brought in all these diamond trusses and that, that is very cool, I think. Probably the most visible feature is the part that sticks out perpendicular to the line of the building. It's our new 235 seat theater for our dramatic art students. And that is a big deal for us because it's the first time that the Department of Dramatic Arts will have its own theater. We've, we've always partnered with the Sean O'Sullivan Theater and the Brock Center for the Arts up on campus, but, um, but this is, uh, is something brand new for us. Very exciting. Construction is slated to finish in May 2015, just in time for students to start classes in September. Reporting for The Source in St. Catharines, I'm Holly Moore.